Great. So, um, my name is James Highgate. I'm the, uh, the the founder and CEO of, of Green Fuels and uh, and Green Fuels Research. I'm going to talk a bit about um, our reflow project that we're undertaking at the moment. So, it's uh, renewable energy from fish, lipids, and oil waste. And I'll provide a, uh, a, a brief background to to us as a company we, for, for the project. Uh, we're working with a university here in the UK and in, in Mexico, and we're developing. A, uh, a, a process to provide feedstock into the sustainable biofuels industry. Uh, the reason we're doing this, uh, Green Fuels is a, um, a biodiesel equipment manufacturer. We've, we've got plants operating globally in over, over 80 countries so far, producing some 420 million litres a year. Uh, the main issue that, that, that we have is the availability of feedstock. So we set up a separate research arm, and one of the remits of that is to um, address a number of the challenges in the... Um, in the, in the value chain of biofuels. Um, we've been going for some time. I started the company back in 2003, um, and uh, yeah, I think the total carbon saving to date from our customers is about 5 million tonnes, so almost twice Tesla's done in the same period. Um, oh, we have a raw warrant, which is pretty cool, and fuel some of those cars. So, um, yeah, just to provide you the idea, is we're very interested in how to get value out of algae for a long time. It's a real challenge. Uh, most people are looking around the production of high lipid algaes, which, which actually grow very slowly. So we were looking at how you can actually use algae as a feedstock for feed and use it as a, um, an input material for another organism. And we, see, we saw agriculture growing dramatically in developing markets. So uh, we did the maths, and it seemed that you could actually produce a feed, feed it to a, a, a fish, and produce uh, an oil from the waste, which is currently just being disposed of, uh, typically just to land, just buried, uh, and have a byproduct of food. So we're currently scaling this up. We, s we set up our own mini fish farm uh, at our site in Barclay, and we're, 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 producing, uh, we're producing tilapia. Uh, the market potential is actually huge. You know, it's a, it's a huge growth industry, growing at some sort of between 10 and 15 percent per year in developing markets, and it's becoming the major source of protein in a lot of these developing markets. So. Um, we see this as a, a great potential in the, in, for, for the production of, of, of food in these markets, but also the production of fuel and then energy. Um, so the main goals we've got within the project is to improve the algae to biodiesel route, so to make that as efficient as possible. The challenge with anything to do with fuel is fuel, even when it's expensive, is actually very cheap. So it's, it's making it technology appropriate and reducing costs throughout the whole process. Um, we're developing a, and um, we're gaining IP on the extraction process and the separation of the oils from the, the, uh, the waste material. And as we said, we, we've already got the technology for the fuel production, but we're making it more technology appropriate for, for these developing markets. So there's a number of challenges that we're addressing in this project, and we're, we're well on our way with it. So, great. Thank you. I didn't overrun. <laughs> Thank you, James. Cheers.